Nananawagan kami sa Comelec. Tayo po ba ay nakahandang kumilos? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Ang susunod na Pangulo ng Pilipinas! We are just few days away from the upcoming 2022 national elections. Are you ready and excited to cast your votes? Here's a quick trivia on what government posts will be filled after you vote. Did you know that the Commission on Elections promulgated Resolution Number 10713 to allocate the elective seats that will be filled in across the Philippines this coming election? Starting off with the National Post, there will be one elected president, one vice president, 12 senators, and 63 party list representatives. For the local seats in the rich islands of Luzon, there will be 143 legislative district representatives, 38 governors, and 38 vice governors. For the cities, the people will elect 74 city mayors, 74 city vice mayors, and for the municipalities, 697 municipal mayors will be elected. Moving on to the scenic island of Visayas, there are 50 available seats for legislative district representatives, 16 for governors, and 16 for vice governors. The cities will also have 39 city mayors, 39 city vice mayors, while the municipalities will have 369 municipal mayors and 369 vice mayors. In the magnificent island of Mindanao, there will be 60 legislative district representatives, 27 governors, and 27 vice governors. The residents will also elect 33 city mayors, 33 city vice mayors, 422 municipal mayors, and 422 municipal vice mayors. Meanwhile, the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao will have 40 party representatives, 32 parliamentary district representatives, and 8 reserved seats and sectoral representatives. Overall, the Philippines will have a total of 253 legislative district representatives, 81 governors, 81 vice governors, 146 city mayors, 146 city vice mayors, 1,488 municipal mayors, and 1,488 municipal vice mayors. The COMELEC also specified that there will be a total of 782 provincial board members, 1,650 city councillors, and 11,908 municipal councillors across the country. Now that you're aware of the number of positions to be filled in this coming election, you hold the responsibility in choosing the right candidates. So, do you already have your bets for the various positions? Did you research their credentials, platforms, and track record? Do they align with your principles and aspirations for the betterment of our country? Gising mga kababayan! Nalalapit na ang araw kung kailan maaari mong gamitin ang iyong kapangyarihan na magluklok ng nararapat para sa ikauunlad ng Pilipinas. Matalino kang bumoto hindi lamang para sa iyo, kundi para rin sa pamilya mo, sa ibang tao, at para sa mga susunod pang henerasyon upang sama-sama nating matamasa ang magandang bukas bilang mga Pilipinas.